Hey, I'm here with Luana, and I'm talking with her about her interview with me and how she is promoting her business and what she is doing. Luana is a serial entrepreneur with 30 years experience in the business of consulting, commercial, and mortgage industries. She has on-demand TV show enlisted Choose to Challenge with Luana, where I she is a guest challenge women to push the needles of, cha of change, break through barriers and elevate their lives to the next level. She is the founder of Celebrate You, a woman's movement that has over 900 members. Luana also hosts two bi-weekly Facebook live shows, business and financial raw talk, no holds bar forms of leaders and in innovators and celebrity you live weekly variety talk shows. She is a four time best selling author and entrepreneurial speaker. She speaks on strategic positionings, maintaining relevancy in business and much more in business and financial lanes. That is a mouthful, and I'm very pleased that I'm able to say that without being too tongue-tied. So Luana, welcome. Is there anything you want to add to your intro? Oh, no, thank you so much. You did an amazing job. <laughs> I was okay. thinking, oh, I've done all of that, but thank you so much, Ernie. Thank you. With HDD and ADD and dialect, dyslexic and what, you, what names it, I have it all. So <laughs> in any event, I want to get started and I want to talk to you, Luana, first of all, what was the low point in your life before your business took off? Can you tell the audience about that, please? Sure. Well, I, I've been a serial entrepreneur for 30 years. So um, I, I wouldn't say that I had a low point before my business took off. It's, I, I, I see business ever evolving and expanding. But on the mortgage side, because I have two companies, on the mortgage side, it was a 2007-2008 mortgage crisis. So we were flying high, life was good. And then the rug was pulled from under us, like every everyone else who was in the banking industry or, or mortgage brokers. And I quickly saw my world spiraling out of control. Um, I didn't know how we were going to survive, but I knew we had to. And at the same time, my brother, who was actually at that time the CEO and licensed broker of the company, decided that he had to do what was best for his family and jump ship. So hear what I said. He was the one who had the license and he gave me a three week notice. I'm going to have to leave. And I thought, wait a minute, you're you're jumping ship, you know, the captain's supposed to stay. And uh, so I quickly had to uh, retool myself, get my credentials up. I took an accelerated program so I could get not only my licensing, but my bonding in order to do business. And I think the blessing, Ernie, is because from my, my corporate training, I'm a strategist and, a, and an analyst. And so I knew we couldn't continue to do what we were doing because that we were at the, you know, the edge of the precipice. It's like, okay, either we, we change direction or we're going to fall in with everyone else. And I said, well, one side of the equation hasn't been hit hard, and that's the commercial side and the investment side. And so we pivoted and changed our whole portfolio uh, to get out of the residential. And that's what helped save us. But it sounds like, okay, that was simple, but no, it was a three-year journey of darkness. Um, through that time, you know, I had 18 employees that gradually I had to start letting go. And that was really hard because I was so excited knowing I had brought people, you know, I had employed individuals, I was impacting households. And I had to turn to these same individuals to say, I'm sorry, I can't keep you. So that was a hard way to carry. And then also, um, because I was trying to keep as many as possible. Now I'm doing what I tell people never to do. I'm pulling from my, my 401k. I'm pulling from my retirement accounts and I'm using that to start to feed the business. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what, Ernie? I depleted all my funds yes. to the point that I was wondering how, how now am I going to keep this roof over my head? Mm -hmm. It took three years of spending to finally start to get out of that. And I'm just happy to say, Fast forward to today, 
we just celebrated um, this summer 15 years in business. Wonderful. That is wonderful, Luana. In fact, it sounds like you redefined yourself in the midst of a crisis. And you're like so many other people where you depleted all your resources and were able to build everything back. And that's what this is about. That's what these interviews are about. People who lost it all, gained it back. And I have files from people of celebrity status, like William Shatner and Tim Allen and the like, that have gone far below and bankruptcy and, and homelessness to rising above. And you definitely fit in. I want to congratulate you. And I also want to talk about how people like the average people like you and me can hit rock bottom. And we have that mentality of, I don't care what happened, I'm going to go for it. And we learn along the way so that we don't hit rock bottom again. I'm going to ask you a question that wasn't on the questionnaire. So get ready. Who ready. is your favorite actor and or actress and why? Hmm. My favorite actor or actress. My favorite actress is uh, Betty Davis. And uh, the reason why is her ability to transform into a believable character that appeared to be so authentic. Whenever I saw her on the screen, I didn't see Betty Davis, I saw this character. And I think that there's a gifting in that. And I learned, and also, and, and again, this is the classics, back then there wasn't all of this action right you literally had to be a craftsman mm -hmm. and i love the dialogue and so from that i learned the importance of the art of communication through those movies is looking at how i presented myself how i carried myself um and that she acted until she could no longer act and it also taught me getting in something that you love so much that it never feels like work it's just merely an extension of you and how you express yourself to the world. So that's why she's my favorite actress. That's wonderful. And I'm very glad that you picked her. My favorite actor would be Morgan Freeman because he gives an Oscar performance in just about every movie that he does. And if you watch it, I got goose bubbles just thinking about that. And he just commands the whole set when he is on there. And he if he doesn't get an Oscar, he makes sure that he portrays that professionalism so that the people that he's with get nominated at least. And he should have about 50 as far as I'm concerned. So you actually did answer the second part of the question of where you are today and how you rose and everything else. So the only thing that I have less left for you, Luana, is how can the audience get a hold of you and want to know more about you? They can reach me on all things social media with my name, Luana Bradford, or you can visit me on my website, which is bradfordgroupmtg.com, like Bradford Group Mortgage, mtg.com. And you're welcome to call me, 678 428 5589. That is wonderful. And for the audience, I want you to know, in addition to this being live on Facebook, I will be putting this up on YouTube and Daily Motion and Twitter and all the different social accounts so that you may be able to reach out to Luana as well. And I will also put that information within that post. And so you can get a hold of her. And if you want to get a hold of me, I'm at ErnieMeyerLive.com. And what I do is our interviews, you can call me the Larry King of business interviews. And I like to give people the opportunity to talk about themselves, to exploit themselves. So if you want to be interviewed, get a hold of me at ErnieMeyerLive.com. And for that, Luana, I guess we shall say goodbye. And anything else that you want to say to the audience before you leave? Yes, thank you so much. And this has been a, a pleasure and, and truly a privilege to be on your, on your stage. And I just wanna tell <clears throat> the audience that just remember whatever your goals are in life, 
that when your vision and opportunity collide, success is inevitable. So always reach for your goals. Thank you again. Thank you, Luana. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. You too, Ernie. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.